Oh, he's unprepared. Working? Okay. Yeah, what a mess. <laughs> hey, everybody who's not here yet. Oh, I am building some buildings for the store and Enterprise. Got me another set to build. Getting ready for the GT coming up at the uh, near the end of the year, right? A few months. A little drink there. 526, it's late. Might have thought I'd go on a little bit. Hey guys, what's going on? The light's all messed up here. Knocked it a little while ago and it kind of fell down. It doesn't want to sit. Sit right, light. There we go. Better than nothing. Alright, so, um, what have I done? Oh, so far, um, am I paint? Get it done. Get it ungrade. Got my call. Oh, it moved him out of the frame. Get this camera come like there we go right there that's about better so yeah i got call and he's pretty much done uh, basing got to do basing but i'm gonna get all the admit guys done and as you can see i still have five to go this little guy i don't know where he came from <laughs> but um let me see if i can get the rest down without causing a mess probably not but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a a try. Oh, they're sliding, but no, I got them. Aha! So got the electro priest done. The uh, five and five, five of the staffy guys, five of the glove gauntlet dudes. Got them painted up. Let's see if I can get one. It's not on the macro settings. Light I need light above it. Come on. Uh, uh, here you go. As good as it's gonna get. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I got these guys done. Let's see if I can get them back on the on the shelf. Oh, not if I hit the light. Back on the shelf without too much destruction and knocking down. Just cut a piece of a a box there to put them on. So get called back up there with them gonna base all those guys at the same time and uh, kind of a bit of a slowdown in production there let me move the camera again I'm working right here yeah uh, because of the weather here locally it's um, hot all the time during summer but humidity it's like it's every other day it wants to rain just enough to where I can't I can't risk going out and trying to spray paint uh, the models down or base coat them or anything. I've got a bunch base coated, but what I really want to do next is do it. Oh, is uh, get uh, the one, the major color coat. I don't know what you guys call it, but I try to, to do that. Um, I would use my airbrush, but it's giving me hissy fits right now. It doesn't, it doesn't like its life or something. Uh, Tried putting in a new nozzle tip and a new needle, and I've cleaned it out, but it keeps clogging up something fierce. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. And I mean, not, not even when I'm using like thin down paints, like when I'm using even these actual design for the airbrush airbrush paints, it's like not working very well. And that is an issue that's been hitting back and forth lately. So I don't know why it's doing that. Just trying to line these pieces up. But yeah, I'm making these buildings for the store at Enterprise. So that's cool. Uh, I went down. What's the day? Today's Friday? Yeah, today's. So, so third. It was yesterday. I took a little off of my head, I guess. Um, beeping for some reason. But I went down to the Enterprise store. Okay, that's got to stop. What is that? Is that Facebook that's open? Yeah, I'm close. Facebook. Oh, that's my wife asking what I should get for dinner. What do you think? Uh, yeah. Let's answer. Sure. Sounds good. Should be upset that I'm doing this and it's live. She hates live. <laughs> I keep trying to tell her that live is the same thing as going out in public. It's no big deal. You know, it's just not a big deal, right? That's some people it is. It's okay. I just respect that. Respect that. 
but uh, for me it's not. Because uh, you should see me go out in public sometimes. Probably shouldn't be there sometimes. And just looking over here, I think I'll use some of these pieces. I'm trying to get as many buildings out of these as I can for the store. They want shorter, no more than two-story buildings. Sometimes I put a third, but it's only like a one corner. It's like one corner up high with maybe a little floor. So, so I, that's what I'm trying to do. So that they can get the most out of there. I'm going to have to trim that up. I just what I did is I cut all this stuff out and then organized it on here. But my desk is... Oh, man, disaster would probably be an insult to disasters. My desk is seriously a mess. LT's been in here since summer vacay started. And uh, I turned on the other computer and... Uh, don't tell me how, but Jerry rigged the card on it, the um, wireless network card that's given me issues. And it's been working okay so far. It goes out every once in a while. But um, so far, so good. So he's been able to play Steam games and stuff. I allow him to play certain Steam games. Certain Steam games I got for him. Like, you know, Slime Rancher and things like that. And uh, Minecraft, of course, on that computer. I got Minecraft. Always, always welcome to play Minecraft. He is. It's a very good, very good game for him. Helps him, helps him develop a lot of good skills. That does. So I'm gonna put the cap on that so it doesn't go crazy. Hey, DZ Saber. I know it's late. I, I planned on doing this earlier, but then I got, I got bogged down in some stuff, and then I just. Started. I actually just I was building another building and I'm like wait a minute I thought you were gonna like build with some people if they showed up and <laughs> then I did but yeah uh, so so far it's been good I uh well since she beeped again should I answer my wife probably right mama is coming with me well, I better not read this out loud huh mm. Oh, oh, well, great. I misinterpreted what my wife was saying. Uh, my wife wasn't saying that she was bringing burgers home. My wife's saying she wants me to cook burgers when she gets home. Well, great. <laughs> that's always, that's always it. Ah! Eh, women. <laughs> great, so I guess I'll do this with you guys until I gotta cook hamburgers. Look at this greatness. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I was at the store yesterday and uh, watched a couple 8th edition games. I can tell you definitively now, Orcs, insane. Uh, the Zeech guys, not so cuckoo because they can put out a lot of mortal wounds and that 4-up and bone save is, you know, they got a 4-up save all the time is basically what it is and you can't do much about it. Uh, unless you can put out the mortal wounds right back. But they can put out some serious mortal wounds. Uh, compare them with uh, the, the Zeech demons with the um, the the space marines. And uh, yeah, that's... Those are crazy. They're really, really nuts. Um, the Admech. One guy was playing the Admech. He's a, he's a new guy. Hasn't been playing super long. He, He's like my admic protege. He's always asking me questions about the admic and what he should do and stuff. No big deal. That's cool. He can be my admic protege. But um, he was uh, he was he was getting smash faced by those orcs, and it's because he was using old admic strategy, which for us was uh, castle up near the center, get to the center as quickly as possible, and make sure you pl during objective placements that you. Uh, Place as many as close to that area as possible so you can reach them. And castle up and then dacka down anybody who tries to get at you. Can't do that with the new the new horde armies. Orcs, Tyranids, um, they are going to rip you apart. They are doing so many hits, so many wounds. And even if they're not mortal wounds, it's just the volume is... It doesn't matter. It's like, you know, the old way get rid... Old adage of getting rid of Terminators, just volume of fire, you know. They can't make two-up saves forever, right? Well, you definitely can't make four-up or five-up saves forever. <laughs> so, it's just volume of fire, just withering your opponent down. 
and it's a uh, it's devastating so DC Saber got um, he just got home and so he's probably gonna make dinner too he should make my dinner and then ship it to me like next minute air <laughs> which don't I need a, I need one of those Star Trek um, replicators that's what I need make them food Alright, yeah, and so, so these are going to be simple little structures like this. Maybe some bigger than that, but try to get as many as possible out so that they have the terrain. Not like I did with mine with my six-story tall building. <laughs> yeah, that was a little high, a little high. I think I'm going to go another level with this one. I'm just trying to figure out if it's, uh... yeah, I think we'll just come back in this little three-by-three three little thing. What should I do? Another one of those for the side? Yeah, just got to clean it up. Clean it up. So, other than that, it's been... A, I've just been doing other stuff. And then, like, not... Well, my wife makes these bags, and there's custom foam that has to be put in the bags. They're for oils, essential oils. And so, I've got custom little uh, foam area. The foam, custom holes in the foam. So that you can slide little oil bottles in there. And it protects them. She makes these little cool bags that people can carry all their cool essential oils around with them. Yeah, you know who cuts the custom foam. <laughs> and so I cut a lot of custom foam lately. And uh, just what, that's the main thing about of what I've been doing is cutting that, that foam. A lot of foam cutting. Um, and it's, it's, uh, sometimes the... Um, the things they use to cut the foam, you got to keep them lubed up. You can't cut like more than, I'd say like eight or nine of the holes before uh, you really need to make sure you lube up the, the cutter and uh, uh, both to cool it off and to make sure it slides through the foam without grabbing because if it grabs, it'll grab like the hole. You get this big foam piece that fits in there, right? You're drilling this one tiny hole and it grabs it and it'll rip the whole thing around. <laughs> it'll just destroy the whole thing. So, yeah, uh, only happened once this time, so that's good. And it wasn't the cutter that normally does it, too. That was the crazy thing. It was a a different cutter that did that, and it was very annoying in so many ways that it had done that because uh, it was like one of the last three holes, and then it did that. So that's crazy. But that's basically what I've been doing. I've been trying to get a lot of my... Um, models painted i guess uh this last week uh so the first week of my my self pointed and if you want to join join up with me get it painted get it done five models a week i have don't count on base coating because i got to do all the um all the admin together right so that because i custom mix i know what goes in the custom mix but I custom mix the color that i make their bases so they're all match but um i don't want to do that just for like five models and then redo it i want to do them all at the same time so not counting basing on those models i have 11 done and so that's good that's good for the first week when you get five i got 11 one of them's call he's a much bigger model so i'm going to give bonus points for him <laughs> to myself i can give bonus points and give him bonus points you can't stop me well you, you you probably could stop me if you're stronger or faster or you know Governor, government official with a RPG or something. But still, unless you're one of those people, you can't stop me. I'm going to give the bonus points to myself there. Ah, apparently did not get that flat enough. So, yeah. So, 11. It's good. I think that's good for the first week. 11 models complete and ready to go. To uh, get put out on the field. Feels like this little knob and... Though it shouldn't is interfering with that being close light on it. So I'm going to... There. Took care of that. <laughs> but uh, other than that, cool beanie stuff. Hanging out. Doing what I can. I'm going to put this together like this. And then put that on the corner. So, oh, oh. This is preview because I'm going to do other videos on it, closer videos. Hold on, let me get this. I did get something when I was at the store. It's something that I, um, 
Oh, you know, I, I, I did it in another live stream. I mentioned it, so I probably should have done a video on it. Maybe I'll do a video on it like that. But um, just this month, um, I'm going to try and you guys join up with me. Uh, five models. Five models. But a troop. I don't know most people's troops. But, you know, five guys, I think it's usually like the minimum for a troops. Troops unit. And so, um, yeah, five models a week. Try to get done. Get get out from under the gray sea. That's my challenge for the rest of this year is to get out from under the gray sea. Okay, so all that sits there and dries in its right position. i got to show you. I don't know if it'll fit on the camera or where I put it. Oh, it's under here. It's under the box. I got two things while I was at the store. I traded in all my X-Wing stuff. And they gave me store credit, and then I used it to get these two things. Number one, right there, the General's Handbook. It doesn't fit because I'm so zoomed in. Have the General's Handbook. Yep. For Age of Sigmar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And what else? What else did I get? I need more of these because I plan on doing a whole big thing of them. Uh, might be able to see them a little bit there. Trying to move stuff. But I got it. Let's start collecting. That's upside down. <laughs> Skeleton Horde. Yay! And I'll do a videos on those for sure. Just got them yesterday though. That's still good. Yeah, so I'm gonna do AOS. So yeah, I am getting out from under the gray sea. Starting a skeleton army might not be a good idea. You hear that? You know who that is? Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, Nicodemus. Come on. Come on up. There you go. Uh this is I'll put him under here. Nicodemus! Brand new cat. We just got him this last week. He is a talkative lap cat. He likes to be up in the lap. So, of course, getting out from under the gray sea of models is a little bit harder since we got Nicodemus. Because he likes to be in the lap and get scratched on the ears and stuff. And he is a he is an amazingly good cat. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned before that my wife is extremely horrible at picking pets. <laughs> but I am extremely good at picking pets and we went to the pet store and she picked uh, who I call couch cat Eden who lives under the couch and hardly ever comes out and I was just tired of that I was like you know Eden needs to come out and I said all right we stopped by the pet store to get a snake stick for uh, DJ snake so we could get him out easier of his cage and uh, went over saw the kittens I saw that one and due to my awesome powers of picking awesome animals knew that he was going to be a good good cat and so we got him and he is an awesome cat he's deals well with the, the three now turned four just a few days ago four-year-old uh, tolerates him very well and the little boys the big boys he said he likes to jump up in your lap but it, it just for a little bit like he's gone he comes he Man, yeah, pick me up. Give me some scratching lovings. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> and then he goes, does his thing. Or finds the next person who's not as busy to, you know, continue the scratching lovings. Uh, more of a dog person. That's, that's a, would be not disputed. But if you're going to be a cat, I like cats that are cool like that, sort of dog-like. And he is, he is kind of that. And the good news is Eden has started to come out more and interact because he's around. So maybe Eden will no longer get the title of being called Couch Cat all the time. She'll come out from under the couch. So, yeah, we're going to do this here. This will give us a broken window edge. I'll be able to do something here to unclean up this. It looks too clean right here, right? And uh, we're going to do one more out this way to... Um, to make that look good. In fact, I think maybe, um, hmm, do this one, I guess. Gotta, I'm gonna have to clean this up though. That sticks. But yeah, if you, um, you wanna do the model, model with me, get some models painted, get them done, get out from under the sea of evil gray. Um, my goal is to get, all of them done. I've started some tests with different yellows to get the rest of my um, Crimson Axis slash Imperial Fists done. And uh, 
that is uh, that's one of the big things that's holding me up because I have my paint that I usually do the base coat and then I usually do the overspray of the next big color which is yellow but I haven't been outside been able to get outside and do that once I do that I'll actually have Lord, if I get it and it works right and I don't have any issues with the paint, um, that will be, gosh, that'll be 70 models that'll be, like, done, like, to the base coat level, which is good, which is good. They would, like, their their base colors, the, the, they'll just have to go and do the small detail colors and highlights and stuff like that. So they'll be a good way on the way to those. And uh, I can power through them if I do them well and have the time. And older boys yelling at one of the younger boys because they did something. I'm sure it's not going to be, hopefully it doesn't get too interference by parent level. If it does, I'm, I'm here to interfere. Into one of these, I think. Yeah, I think that'll do better. Glue that like that. That'll help. And then maybe this one like that. Like that look. Going for it. So, yeah, join me. So what have you guys been doing? Has any of you, um, DZ, have you uh, played some 8? Seen anything 8's played? I'll tell you, uh, personal, it's the uh, Necrons are awesome, Tyranids, and Orcs. Hmm? What, Nicodemus? You already came in here. And yes, his name is Nicodemus. Look, everybody else calls him Nick. But, um... Nicodemus. So there's another one down. Great. So two buildings so far. Out of that. And, uh... That's working out. Plenty of parts here, too. I still haven't even taken, uh... The two, these two floors out. I took a lot of the floors out because I usually tend to use smaller floor sections, break them up and all that stuff. So I did run into the glue, but I have a whole new bottle over there. So, All right, so let me get to this. The mess forming over here. Plenty of these sections. So uh, those two had doors. I got two more doors left. I guess I can go with uh, start one more at the door section thing. So let's clean these up and put them together. Oh, narrative missions. A four-way game. You know there's a four-way thing in the mission book, I think, now for 8th. Or was that looking through? Uh, either it was, in the, <laughs> it was in the AOS General's Handbook or the mission book for 8th. I was looking at both at the same time at the store. And so my, my memory of what was in what book is... Highly unreliable at this point. But yeah, there's a way to play four-way stuff. Interesting, interesting stuff. Eighth, I'm just... Um, I think I can see eighth is going to be a little faster in some ways. It just depends on what armies are playing. I think some armies are going to play a little slower. And of course, I, that may just be because... Everything I've seen so far is everybody's like first or second game of kind of trying to play it with rules that they don't really have in hand to study. Um, they're just kind of at the store and they can pick them up uh, as they go kind of thing. Or maybe they have some releases on their phone or something. Not that anybody would have pre-released illegal downloaded material that I know of. For sure, I don't know anybody like that. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I think so. That may be that probably actually plays a very large part in uh, in a little bit of the slowness I see in some games. But even at that, they're still pretty quick. My thing is, I'm uh, my wonder is like I'm gonna play an eighth game with Dan tomorrow. I just have to figure out what army to bring and all that stuff and how, what what's it at with point levels and. Uh, I'm just going to bring my stuff and we'll figure it out when we get there, I guess. Because that's the big thing that I'm not sure is like, what's a good point level for a decent length game and um, not too crazy and not too, you know, 
wham bam done kind of thing something something reasonable like it used to be like 1850 was a reasonable long game and they could do like 1500 or 1250 was like you know let's do a quick 1250 game or something like that it, oh that was not super quick right but i'm trying i'm wondering what that i'm gonna lay this down let that do where it's supposed to be Frostgrave, so I play won't play eight until it drops into the seventeenth, huh? Hmm. That's cool. I'm gonna do some more um traditional videos. I know I've been relying heavily on the webcam lately. Uh I, um let's not lie, I've been crutching on the webcam. Because <laughs> it's easier to throw it up and kinda of chit chat and stuff like that than it is to do a video and edit it together. So, except for me, of course, because I forget to turn on microphones and stuff like that all the time. <laughs> I said it's easier for normal people to do it that that way than the other. But I know I need to put some actual videos up. A um, Friday night fight. I'm we'll get one of those up soon. I'm not sure if we're going to record this eighth edition with Dan. Uh, I'll be up to Dan if he has the time or not because it does take a little extra time and of course it'll be 8th edition so we'll be spending more time as well the rules so all that but if we do get to record it then uh, if I do get to record it then I will uh, certainly share it with you guys for sure it's nice and level let's let that dry a little bit towel um as far as I can tell, what I've seen in play uh, locally, uh, Tau are a little bit, a little bit nerfed. Not bad, a little, just a little bit, um, just a little bit of a ding ding down. Less like plastic hammer to the head, right? Not Negan to the face like uh, Admet got, but you know, just a little plastic nerf hammer to the face. And. Uh, Orcs are incredibly powerful. Uh, so far, the most powerful thing I've seen is um, orcs in groups of 30 boys with Gazgul and a pain boy backing them up. And uh, not 100% sure of the rules. You know, I haven't read them um, in super detail. But in, uh, in watching the play, apparently that gives each boy five attacks in close combat with his weapons and whatever loadout, the whole the whole shebang that he had. And so this guy, you know, that's a lot of attack. That's 150 attacks. What limits you is the fact that you um, you can't get them all in base contact within the, the three inches close enough. So you're only doing like 80 or 75 attacks, depending on the unit you do. But still, it's a huge amount of attacks. Huge, huge, huge. And things just die. Just outright die. It's um, it's disgusting. It really is. Just just watch it. You just orc players are. If you're gonna be an orc playing the orcs uh, saber one, Daddy. you're gonna need all those dice. This custom dice. Daddy. You're gonna need lots of them. Yes, buddy. I was in the bathroom and I was in the okay, okay, you help me? okay. I'll help you. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna need a lot of dice and your forearms. You can. St Skip arm day and probably upper body day at the gym because uh, yeah you're gonna get big giant forearms from all those dice you're gonna have to pick up and roll I'm gonna let this set up a second I will be gone like 30 seconds I gotta help him with that thing I will be very back though
sorry that's a negative of live stream when things happen i have to go take care of them <laughs> oh and if i break things and stuff it will be a thing oh is that straight that is straight great i don't want to see something here this one put this one here yeah leave this hole there's a broken one here yeah that'll look good so we will do that then let's get this piece in first is it the right side i'm trying to make sure you because you have this kind of deeper and then you have this to make sure i'm putting all these up so the buildings two reasons one this is easier to paint for when they go to paint them and two just consistency so choose something consistent so let me put some glue here no i thought that was done why would you trick me into thinking they were done and glued i see that little nubbin how do i miss these for some reason I'm always missing these right here it's like I'm a blindness to those like a built-in blindness to them well if I can get here let's put it on the actual flooring piece and then that way if I can get this floor in place it'll actually help hold all this other stuff so that will be bonus for me there let's push that push push it all together just need 12 fingers to to build tw buildings that's all you need is 12 fingers 10 and then you need two extra ones to kind of that can bend backwards and hold different things right so yeah eighth edition is upon us everybody wants their books i want my books but that's just me normally, no matter what. When I'm like, I got, it is best for me. Pre-order is evil. It's best like Daddy? not to know things exist until Daddy? I can have them, so I don't have to wait Daddy? for. Them. Yes, you can't. Let's say, Daddy. What? what? Oh no! Did you open that? What is it? That's mommy's. Oh, oh no! We're both in trouble now. You bring me the bag that that came in. Bring me the bag. Oh, gotta put that back in the bag before mommy finds out. Oh. <sighs> In trouble now felony not watching the kids close enough this could be bad this could be bad all right the bag's already in okay here. thank you we can put this back in the bag and we're not gonna open mommy's mail anymore are we so that's gonna get us into trouble oh that Maddie, that's a piece of cloth i know it's for mommy's bag that she makes. Yeah. Okay, let's leave that alone. You go uh, watch your show and be nice to Nicodemus. Oh, but he's already downstairs. Oh, he went downstairs? Yep, I blocked him. Well, don't block him. He'll get mad at you. What? You don't want him to get mad at you and scratch you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what some people must think. That some people must think. Uh, fortunately for me, not my area of care for a lot of times. I don't really care. <laughs> think what you may. It's probably true. <laughs> uh, there's a little nubbin. It's too much nubbin there for this to touch all the way. Which means getting super glue on the hobby knife. It's hard to glue these that they're just like they're not there's only one point to, or one surface of touching Robert thinks things Robert Robert doesn't have to think the horrible things about me Robert knows all the crazy stuff I do Robert's been there to see me deep strike terminators 16 millimeters from the edge of the board <laughs> Robert knows I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly conventionally minded in any sense of the word but Robert, Robert went to the GT in, forget the exact place, Mississippi. They went, I was going to go there, but 
Then I had to do all that bag stuff for my wife, so I couldn't go because she got all those orders, and I had to take care of that, help her with that. Daddy? But, yes, buddy? I got, I got the trash can on stuck. No kitty can come out. Uh, I'm going to pretend that I didn't hear that. What? Hopefully that doesn't mean destruction and disaster. Oh, Daddy, this picture is well for you. Thank you for that picture. I'll show everyone the picture as soon as I'm done with this. I made these parts. And but these, uh, Robert these went to the. Yeah, <laughs> you got some. Guy did. Gulf, Gulf Coast War Game Alliance. That's right. And Robert won. He came in first place. And he basically got a, a, a Death Watch army. It was like uh, two Death Watch kill teams, a Corvus, and two Death Watch biker kits, I believe. I believe that was the whole thing. And so that's basically a Death Watch army in a, in a box right there. That's awesome. Awesome Death Watch army. Death Watch is not as awesome. In yeah. eight. Oh, put Kitty down. You're gonna make Kitty mad. As, as it was in seventh, but it's it's not really like game wise. It's like fluff wise. It turned really into like a Space Marine army. It's just kind of yeah. It's they're generically like Space Marines because there's just not there's not a lot of uniqueness to them at this point. But uh, I'm sure that that will get fixed in codexes. Two bikes. Oh, two bikes and termies. And two kill teams in the Corvus. So, yeah, that, a lot of coolness there. A lot. Uh, the termy box is going to have so many of those. Um, the, uh, the upgrade kits, Robert, that have all the, uh, the extra death what shoulder pads and stuff. So you'll have an excess of those. So if you have any... Um, regular marine kits you will be able to turn um, some of those dudes into death watch guys because you have the death watch shoulder pads because uh each death watch upgrade kit only has two terminator shoulder pads and since they have five terminators in there they give you three upgrade kits so you end up with 30 i think it's 30 regular shoulder pads from that which is nuts So that's like 30 extra Death Watch guys that you can create <laughs> beyond what you, beyond what you, uh, you just need the bodies. So you, I think I, uh, mine all came from uh, burning uh, Betrayal at Kalth. I turned to almost all my Betrayal. All but, uh, I think I got five guys left off of that, those sprues. But I turned the rest into Death Watch guys. So lots and lots of Death Watch. So... That's cool, but did you do you pre? Robert probably pre-ordered. He has a website. He pre-orders stuff. I pre-ordered from the store, so I have to go down and get it. Um, I was very vocal in trying to mention a pre-order release day kind of midnight celebration, so maybe I can get it at midnight. We'll see if they do that. If not, then you know, I'll go there when they open on release day, pick stuff up, and. Uh, then really get to dig into eight because I'm really more of a pen and paper, see it in front of me guy. These web releases are cool and all, but they're not really, they don't really help me too much as far as knowing what exactly I'm going to deal with. And I know that doesn't make sense to a lot of people because they're like, well, you can just see it same, same, but it's not really same, same for, for me. Got to have it, got to have it down. In my hand so I can feel it and touch it and figure it out that way. So, oh, Robert, Robert just, Robert's getting the store stuff. So maybe I'll see him on release day. Because he lives over there in the, the wilds of space that people call Georgia, out in the Georgia sector of the, the Imperium. Out there. Instead of the sophisticated Alabama sector. But I live in. <laughs> no place to play if the store. There's places to play. <laughs> no. But yeah, you got to support your local store. Like uh, buying your stuff from them or helping them build terrain. <laughs> Which is what I'm doing here too. Uh, building up some terrain. So that they can have this terrain for all us to play. I saw some of my buildings that I built the other day. People were using them and playing with them. That's always cool. That's always makes you feel good. They're like, hey, yay, people are actually uh, utilizing something that uh, I put together 
it's for people to use so that always makes you feel good like when my my work and effort did not go into vain and some of the, the, the they were using a, a few of those um the foam board trains that i had put together uh, like the my reactor and stuff like that the lit reactor with leds in it and such not so that was cool that was awesome so i'm gonna put this one here and i'm gonna do probably a level of just this this stuff here and then we'll be done with this one that'll be three buildings down yeah two hours away close to two hours away that's a long way to go two hours when I was a kid that wasn't so long I remember we used to have good two hours to go to the grocery store from where we live but now that I have uh, gotten some years on me I'm really not keen on going that far for milk and bread <laughs> Although if I have to, I will. I'm not. Uh, it's not a, not a thing that I am incapable of, for sure. For sure. So, um, so we've got this here, and I think we'll glue this across here. Yeah, because that would have been this there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll put a little glue on each of these parts here. I can. It's running low. Got to, I might have to break out the other bottle here soon. But yeah, doing that for fun. Yeah, don't. don't. You have to start your own store. Store there, DZ. Definitely. You'll have to start your own store. These guys are in the way. I don't want to put them up there to finish. So I'm going to put them over here. I was trying to keep them on the. The spinner. The spinner is my get just done motivator. It's right there on the spinner. Pick it up. Pick your paintbrush up and get it done. But um, I'm going to have to move some stuff around here. Spin, actually. Spin. There we go. Okay, that's still not 100% dry, so I'm going to be careful of that. Let's see, I get ahead of myself with this. Okay, we'll do this one. But... Other than that, I'm just like you guys. I'm in hover mode. I'm going to do videos on that uh, stuff that I got. The, uh, the skeleton army that I'm going to start for AOS. Which will be an itty bitty teeny weeny skeleton army for, for now. I think what I'm going to do is get one or two more of the starter sets. So I have like, uh, that will give me what, 30 skeletons. 15 of the horse guys and the the big model that comes in it you'd think wow I have three of those big models But they can be built as three separate different HQs and so if I do that That means that I can just build them as the HQ not have to worry about magnetizing and all that stuff I usually go through and um, have the separate HQs and Have all those extra skeletons and um, what are they called black knights that fell off you were glued, but you did not want to stay glued. You want to stay glued to me. It's just not that. I understand. I understand. Lots of people want to hang out with me all the time. It's true. Or at least I tell myself it's true. But yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I think that's going to be the plan. So when I can, when I can spend a little, I'll spend it on some uh, uh, skeleton, another skeleton starter set and then another one and then that'll be the base of my army right and then whenever gw decides to get the skeletons back in stock whenever that is that's it yeah i was gonna say if i have more of those cut then i will be able to uh, just get skeletons and that's my plan is it's, my skeleton army really is that that's what it's going to be skeletons just lots and lots of skeletons. I might add um, like a necromancer, I think, is what you need to add. So that um, so that I can um, take maybe part of my army and set it off to the side and sum summon it in. I guess that's what you do. Still not 100% up on the rules for um, 
Age of Sigmar, so don't hate me too much. But, uh, yeah, that would be my plan. What I'm going to do. All right, see you later, DZ. I will, um, I'm probably going to stay on for less than 15 minutes more anyway because I've been here for 45 and uh, then I finished doing some of this stuff and uh, maybe I can get some more painting in and I definitely have to build a list too for um, for Friday got to play Dan Friday Robert I think we're gonna do an eighth edition let you know how it turns out let you know how it turns out for sure so not Friday today's Friday Saturday tomorrow yeah anyway Anyway, so yeah, fair warning to all you guys who are watching. I will probably stop and, uh, you know, when it hits the hour mark, close right about there. So I might be able to get some more of the buildings done with you. I a little, this one's okay. It's okay sometimes when they're kind of semi out of whack. This one's a little too out of whack right here. I'm going to try to fix it. Because these are ruined buildings, right? So they're not straight and level and all that. I think we can go with that though. That's another one down. Will it fit in the box? Um, doesn't want to fit in the box. Gonna have to make it fit in the box. So, never, I just put all the cut sprues in there, so just gotta move that out of the way. Find a spot for it. Not too many spots around here. Said my hobby area is a disaster zone. All right, next building. Oh, I told you. I told Charlie. What? That's his picture. Charlie is very, you know, this is like a four-year-old. And you're like, no, oh, it's just circles and squiggles. But you know what? He stays within the lines. All the lines. He's big on the lines. He's, he's, he's like staying within the lines. Um, I got these big doors. I think I'll use one of these right now. These two, I'm going to create what I did last time. I created like a, a vault. Uh, and I think I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to use these with the Mechanicum, the rest of the Mechanicum type parts. Maybe. Maybe those. And create some kind of Mechanicum type vault type thing. So, Alright, so these, we can definitely use these with... Um, should we go just short two? Let's do a two sectioner, yeah. Clean this up. So there we go. Let's cut this off. And I will be getting back and doing videos for sure, for sure. Much more videos once 8th drops because we've got to talk about all these armies and all these models and um, how they differ. I, I could probably start doing some of that now, but uh, to me, it's still in a partial vacuum, you know? It's still existing in a partial vacuum and so once we have it all down and in hand and stuff i mean maybe after tomorrow when i go and um, get another Daddy, closer look and can play some stuff password? you cannot have the password to my phone whoa i made the password can you give me out a password uh, so i can play game you, you, so you can play monster trucks oh no Oh, oh no, yeah, I'm going to play the game. I'm going to okay, play. hold on. I'm going to play Mighty Machines. I'm play Mighty Machines. It's Monster Trucks. The dozer. I'm digging stuff. Yes, I have a dozer. Thank you. That's what he calls Mighty Machines. So, yeah. Um, maybe if I get a decent look at it tomorrow, I might start to do some videos on, you know, what was and what is and the differences and how, you know, I think, what I think about that and uh, stuff like that for sure. All right, we can try to get this. I need the corner piece. Make it perfect. There it goes. Have to, yeah, working on your Necrons. Necrons. Necrons are, I don't know if Necrons are, here's a, from what I've seen, seen them played, and what I read on the rules, Necrons are 
super hard to kill. They're not going to die unless someone focuses down one unit at a time. And that's that takes a lot of firepower and it, it really forces your opponent into a certain strategy. What I'm not really sure if Necrons have is a whole lot of hurts you back. I think um, they need more ways for mortal wounds, I think. They don't have uh, as much mortal wound nastiness as like the the um, Thousand Suns guys do or the Dark Eldar do. Uh, some of those armies. And they don't have the massive, massive amounts of just regular runes that Orcs and Tyranids can throw out. So while I think they are pretty good about the not dying part, they um, they may may not have as much punch as some of the other armies. So, and I guess like an uh, opposite of like the Orcs and Necrons. Orcs and Necrons are going to die in droves for sure, but they're taking you with them. <laughs> so, and they're probably taking more of you with them than you would like. So maybe there is some balance in some of these things. We just have to just have to look at it um, all put together and not in these individual vacuums that we're seeing right now. Which is my, you know, take on it so far. These things need to be need to be seen in the proper light. Before we can make decisions about anything, I'm pretty pretty decided though that um, Admech took a beating. Is it a fatal beating? I'm not sure. Uh, they got pretty whomped hard by the orcs yesterday when I was watching. Um, but that's because he was using an old Admech strategy: the castle up in the center and fight from there, which is. A bad strategy for eighth, at least for Admech. Uh, maybe there is an army that that's a good strategy for, but not Admech. Not Admech. That's not a good strategy for us anymore to do that. All right. So from here, I think I'm going to build out two more of these each way. That. Let's see here, like that. Or should I? Should I maybe go like this? That's a broken one. That looks a little better. Yeah, it feels better. Broken one there. Yeah, let's just do this. Double door that. Broken one. Some flooring. That's good. It'd be a nice small one. Work out great. Uh, Alright. Uh, you have a good day, Robert. And uh, be safe on that drive out there to... Uh, Never Never Land that you're taking on your trip. Uh, say hi to everybody out there, uh, except the police. Don't don't say hi to them at all. Don't let them don't let them get you. <laughs> and uh, stay safe. Alrighty, so I am going to let's see what we're gonna do with this floor. I'm going to kind of once I kind of once this that way so I may have to put in like this I'm gonna have to trim the edges on this where it's cut though to make sure it fits so uh, yep um, and death, death Watch I think too didn't I don't think Death Watch is bad I don't think you got hurt too bad um, a lot of the uniqueness and kill teams and those bonuses are gone. Um, but really, I think the thing is that, yeah, the uniqueness got kind of ripped out of it is is really my, my kind of internal beef with it, I think. What's gone on with that. You know, we can do like that. It's much better. And it's a small piece of terrain, but it'll work for a nice scatter piece. Nice piece of scatter terrain. So we just need to put all our glue in place. Try not to... I need to clean off the tip of this, but there's so little glue left. Like, not worth my effort to do it. Just use up the bottle and move to the new bottle with a clean, clean tip and everything. Okay, and I'm doing like this. 
I need to put glue right there though. So those two pieces will stick together. There, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. So yeah. Um, get in there. There, snap tight. Nice, that'll work. Nice little scatter. We'll do some top piece to it. Uh, I do not know if I've cut enough of these. Let's look. We got this one. This one. I might have to cut more off the sprue. Let's cut these. Another sprue. Let's cut some more off real quick. Uh, just get them off real fast here. So, didn't want to cut all of these at the same time because I got so much other stuff scattered about. It's um getting a little hard to keep it all contained reasonably make sure that I don't lose anything or drop stuff all right that's enough of those I think I'll cut this one right here out one without the uh, uh, pointy part on it <laughs> all right to close that up clean these off and we'll use these See, um, I think we had broken ones of these in this pile, though, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yep. So I could do this here, or that ends up working. We gotta get this one in place first, though. And this will be the last piece I build with you guys, and then I guess I need to go think about making hamburgers for everybody. Since that's apparently gonna be my job soon here in a second. So, uh, not super straight. Ah, ah, ooh, what? it's floating on. That was too much glue. It gets all floated like that. Right there. Get this one. Maybe be at the right level, too. There we go. Okay, I gotta hold it with this hand, because this one just got glued. <laughs> I know, I know. It's a mess. So, yeah, yeah, Robert's right. We did lose that one game because of my deep strap shenanigans, but I've, I've won more than I've lost with my craziness. <laughs> That's like 1 to 50. So, crazy, crazy can have negative effects, apparently. Apparently, sometimes doing ludicrous things leads to ludicrous results. But, you know. That's why there's a ludicrous speed on your hyperdrive, right? So, when you absolutely have to get there, you just go ludicrous speed. Okay, so this right here is like this, right? But this is too clean. This is too clean, so we have to fix it. And we'll fix it by chopping. So, Mommy's home. I can hear that, so it's about time soon. For me to say goodbye and just gum it up a little bit and then fix the straight lines in it so they're not straight oh almost cut myself don't do that don't be like me eh. oh no I did a little bit of blood don't operate your tools poorly there not bad I already stopped bleeding Doop. yeah that's better see now it's busted. I don't need to do that off. Now it's busted like that is. And that looks better. So I'm going to glue it. And then that will be my cue to say goodbyes. Alright. Alright. Alright guys. I will talk to you later. You guys have a good day.